Hey there, just a quick little video on how to varnish. It's a bit windy outside and my hair's long. So yeah, I was gonna, I got a piece of little thing we bought for light switches in the house that I'm renovating right now, as you guys know. Got some varnish right here. I'm just gonna, just gonna show you guys what I normally do to varnish. This a little fun video. Let's put that right on. Oh, okay. Let's see, I, is everything in frame there? No, no, absolutely not. There we go, that's good enough in my opinion. Oh my! Things are running away. So we got a little stir stick here, just mix it around. Um, I'm gonna use an app to hold up, help hold up my phone. The great thing about being out of the country is you have, you have an endless supply of apples, pretty much. We just want to stir things, bring things, bring things up to the top. It's sort of like cooking in a way, just nowhere near as fancy. So you just mix it. This stuff's actually pretty full, so this is gonna be fairly easy. A fairly new can of Nano Defense floor finish. Oh, well, it's an inside thing anyway. It's just going inside anyway, so it doesn't matter if it's floor or wall. It's just wood. It's just varnish, so. It is what it is. It looks kind of like milk, actually. Here, let me show you guys what I'm seeing. It's like milk, or the other, the other milk. Man, milk is a, is what people call it. This is what the internet calls it, at least. So just stir that, like you're stirring up uh, like soup. I'm not sure how many of you cook, but yeah, just stir it up like so. Yeah. Once you're done, just do this with your stir stick. Because you're gonna be using using this thing to wipe. You should, a lot of people, uh, some people use a brush. Some people don't. they will use a roller. I'm just gonna use this because I don't need a brush or roller for that. This it's a very simple task. So you fold it up like this and dip it in there. And just go like this. It's gonna darken up the wood, so. Depending on what you want the, the wood to look like afterwards, you may need to get uh, other, uh, an even brighter wood, which is going to be difficult. This wood can only come so bright. You want to get on there and on there, nice and thick, pretty much though. Try to go along with the grain; it's going to just make it make your life easier. It soaks in easier as well. There's no resistance. Is he trying to do it? Oh man! This apple isn't working as well as I was hoping. There we go. It's a little thing. Of course, there's some parts where you can't necessarily go along with the grain, so you just go like this. I'm not sure how much of this is in camera, I can't even see the camera right now. Definitely see this side though. I don't really care if it gets on the table that I'm working on, mainly because this table is an outdoor one, and also probably gonna throw it out anyways. So after you get a nice thick coat all all around it, just try try fix up some of these glob gloopy messes you leave behind. If I was more used to doing this stuff. Rarely, I rarely have to varnish things. Most wood doesn't need to be varnished in the house, especially if it's not if you're not going to see it. This just helps to protect the wood. But there's a little, it's I guess you say it's somewhat similar to painting, but at the same time, nothing like painting at the same as well. There we go. Just look at that, like uh, just like Mama used to make. Or something I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just trying to make jokes while I do a somewhat boring task. This may look interesting or be fun for the first few times you do it, but the next couple hundred times is uh, yeah. 
exciting. You see, just going along with the grain gets it in there a lot better. And yeah. There we go. Slap my little cum cloth over there. My phone fell over again. And that's what it looks like. So afterwards it's a lot darker as you can see. And yeah. Alright, that's gonna do it for today's little short. Alright. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.